Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time Roundup where you are updated on the biggest entertainment stories around you. Hope you had a good week and you are ready to go through all that went down this week with your girl, Ife Omai. Let's jump right into it. So you know that Twitter saying that you just open your mouth, wow. <laughs> that was, that's what I'm going to use to describe our first conversation of today. So feminists can't work in Nigeria. This is coming from San Clefo, not me. And I have to say, I was proud of the, t of the Twitter streets for the backlash that was given. As a proud feminist, I claim a Nigeria that's safe and equal for every child and every boy who would feel valuable and confident and appreciated despite their gender. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop now. But to be fair, after the backlash, he did try to explain himself better. So look out for that. Nollywood star Ada Kao laments over inability to use online services from Nigeria. You see, this sea finish from these companies just needs to stop because I'm with her on that. So PayPal, Apple Store, and the likes, please behave yourself and put some respect on Nigeria's name. Nick Cannon is under fire for saying monogamy isn't natural for men. I don't know who sent him to be the spokesperson for men, but let's just say it didn't go down well. So just look at it for yourself. And then a few minutes later, I'm a feminist, so don't get me wrong. Can you call Is that what he said? Yeah, he was so funny. He said, I'm a feminist, so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, mm. I, I think Sam Clef is just one of those that is using um, social media in every way possible to have relevance for mm. themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. Music is not Which working is out, what so I, um, I was saying to Ogagus. Um, when he was talking about the talented ones that are not getting the role because they are not known on Instagram. I'm saying, okay, if that's the case, why not try to use Instagram to push your brand? And you're saying they probably don't have the time. It means that they have roles now. Because mm. if they don't have the time, so what exactly are they crying foul for? Yeah. It means they have their own jobs coming to them. Because if you don't have the time, then you'll you be able to find own, time yeah. to download editing app on your phone and use your phone to show us something mm. that would help us say, you know what, this person is an actor. And I'm sure there are directors and there are producers that are actually looking for talents every day, you know. Mm. So, I mean, let me know. We have already yeah, digressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so for Sam Clef, I don't know where he's coming from. I get that we have more advocacy to do, actually, in the North. Yeah. Um, the barrier is much higher because of their culture and religion mm -hmm. with the stronghold these two things mm -hmm. are having on them. Mm -hmm. But people are trying. People mm -hmm. are working around the system to find a way to free those that are actually in bondage because right. that's what, how I'll put it. A lot yeah. of people are in Serious bondage. bondage. Physical Physically, yeah. mentally, in fact, even more physically in the north, because yeah. you see someone, a child that has her dreams and want to live life, become a doctor or whatever they want to be, but they can't. Even <laughs> if they want to lift their foot, there right. is some cutlass that is cutting that foot down to yep. tell them you are born to get married mm -hmm. and to help us create this relationship between this family yeah. for poverty, yeah. you know. So um, it's it's a, it's a it's a long battle, but I, I, I wouldn't appreciate such statements from someone like Sam Clef. Yeah. If you're not helping the cause, yeah. please don't don't talk about it. Yeah, it's crazy how... Um, anyway, let me not even bother focusing on that. But I like what you said. I think I have raised much on this table that I'm quite close to people who do this for a living. I don't do it, but I advocate and I put my time when there is. And I've noticed that we get a lot of backlash when we work with people from the north because you, a feminist cannot just go into and say, you this girl, you're free, you're free, you're free. You have to actually do the process, talk to the head, talk to the chairman, talk to the leaders and all, all that type of stuff. And we get serious rejection. No, we want it like this. We love it like this from women, from men, from leaders, from dads, from parents. So there's a lot more rejection. In that, that, maybe that's why you wouldn't see it. But feminism will work in Nigeria in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> there will be equal rights for Nigerians, every single man and every single woman should be uh, should be valued in the right way it shouldn't be that you get um, what's it called restrictions or oppression just because you came out as a certain gender they shouldn't kill our men with toxic masculinity because they are men and they should definitely not kill our women with domestic backwardness because they are women so as long as we exist you're just going to have to stay uncomfortable. But listen to what he has said and how he has retracted severally. I know that people just like to open their mouths. Wow, when it comes to feminism, it, it threatens your norm. It threatens your comfort zone. And that's why sometimes you find that backlash. But when you think about it, just even a little bit, it's not, it's not even too hard. If you think about it just a little bit, you know, ah, these people, I cannot really... I, I can't hate them. You have to join them. It's the good side. And even the ones that are bad in the feminism, Kini, you yourself, you help us to see them out so we can do the good work that we're trying to do.
All right, so to me, feminism is not a theory that you focus on one particular place for them to be respected. Mm. I think feminism is a theory that we should teach our children because it's something that grows in your subconscious. The older you get, the more the world is spread out there. This is how those women are affected. This is how you begin to raise your kids. These are the things you say to your female child. These are the things you say to your colleagues. These are the things you say to a lot of women. And before you know it, everybody is speaking up on it. It's, it's, it's a... It's, it becomes it's, a way of life. Yeah, it becomes a way of life. So when people start saying onto you, do certain things before I respect, then you clearly do not understand what feminism means because mm. it clearly shows as well and that... And how deep-rooted yeah. patriarchy is in yeah. this And it also world. shows that you really do not want the best for your girl child. Because if you want the best for your girl child, who is not a nothing and, and feminism is being prayed, you'll be like, go sis. You may not agree with all of their theories, all of their objectives, all of whatever they want you to do. It's not necessary for you. Even in politics, we don't agree to everything. Even in living together, we don't agree with each other all the time. Mm -hmm. But you should just pick out the truths because there's always a truth in feminism. And all they're preaching is equality. How difficult is that? If you have to do some Pay certain, certain services. kind of services, yeah. that's the best one for you. And even even the I one mean, that the one that hurts my feelings before I got engaged was on dating sites. You can't get on certain dating sites. You are engaged, if you know what I mean when mm -mm. I say engaged. Mm -mm. I, 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 I know I'm what now, I engage I'm means. I'm now in a faithful relationship. Faithful. That's what I mean. Yeah, very faithful relationship. This is where is the case? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you can get on certain dating sites as well just because you're in Nigeria. So um, that is really disturbing as well. I find it a bit unfair though. I think that we, even when you look at the figures, it is hard not to think that this is some type of you know, yeah, kind of like a racial thing because it's con America still has one of the highest people who deal with online they fraud. The in. No they do knows. actually. Even in Africa, we're not the highest either. Um, there's a lot of Asian countries that are fantastic well, about that. So I don't know what it is that makes mm -hmm. them. If, if you're just going to claim that it's because we have a few um, bad eggs, I, I feel like it's not enough reason and there has to be some type of racial play in regards to that um, because there's a lot of reasons why you should give Nigerians visas. Um, if you compare like the good things that we have done in terms of adding to people's economy and then compare these the differences the between that and like a few people who have stolen it. I'm not saying that, don't, I'm not trying to justify it, of but course, like it's course. not enough reason to like, to you know, yeah, and if anything, we travel a lot in comparison to a lot of people in Africa and then we add to people's um, education, like we, a lot of us are in school when we go abroad, mm -hmm. a lot of people get good jobs, we good jobs, well. we don't do sweeping and cleaning, we actually want to be in like industries and stuff, so adding money so you cannot tell me that that's enough reason one hush puppy or ten hush puppies it's not in comparison to like the millions and millions of people that yeah. have done something so i feel like these brands the organizations and also embassies of countries and stuff need to start to rethink that because there is a market here and i understand yes there's infrastructure problems and i know apple music had that I, problem I, when I, they I came you. At first, i hear but you but if you were there and because you're nigerian you can't use those services it's a different ballgame entirely but why they kind of block Nigerians is because they notice that they get act a lot from this part of the world or they get a lot of people trying to get into certain, to try to use certain services from this place. And when they do, they are usually fraudulent activities. I don't think, do yeah, but it's about so, fraud it, as well. I think it's also something that has to do with the banking regulations and how it works for mm. them and doesn't work for them sometimes. Because if you also check, even the banks that claim that you can use their card to purchase things online. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not working. And when you call them, they really don't have any explanation to give I mean, you. I don't, I don't you know, think so, it's that um, They need to really sort what the issue is, for financial, um, um, what's the word now? Financial transactions. Crimes. It's just really crazy. I don't know. Because you cannot say that we are the only ones, Nigerians are the only ones that know how to hack. Mm. Or they are the only ones that try to mm. hack. You know, so it, it's been a long, a long conversation. And I just hope that, like you first said, they can rethink and understand that they cannot push, punish millions of people because of what maybe 10, 20 people did. Mm. Um, I mean, that's just... the name. That's our biggest 
He's not the only one. Yeah, but he's yeah. our biggest <laughs> guy right now. I mean, like, Amazon works here. Yeah. I mean, about you have him. to yeah. go through a lot of lengthy checks. Amazon works here. So, again, I don't buy the story that people try to hack us more. Or people, like, if you want to do it, if you really. You will. You will. You know what? You'll Amazon, be able to do it. Amazon, you know, a lot of companies don't have works. the. AliExpress yeah, works some of the. Yeah, when the they want to collect your money, Amazon. Uh, AliExpress. It work. Those people build very strong firewalls. They they have the resources. So, people have enough resources to build a. As strong well, as fire well I, I can't speak for PayPal, but I can tell for c certain smaller services mm -hmm. that I really cannot afford those. We, we don't really extra, want small extra. services. We don't want your channel and uh, fashion nova. We want like <laughs> PayPal, for example, is huge. It's like huge. that is really restricting to especially sure to, if you want to take your business. PayPal even work even, even if you're talking about just very digital sure marketers PayPal. and influencers and having to promote things on Facebook, on yeah. Instagram and co. I mean, being able to access... Um, it really limits you I'm sure there was a time PayPal Google. was working, yeah. though, because I know I use PayPal in Nigeria. I can't say when precisely, but I know I use PayPal. There was PayPal a time it was working, yeah, was and then it stopped again. Working, yeah, so again. I'm sure it's for a reason, so they probably have their good... Nobody's thing. saying it's not for a reason. We're saying whatever the reason is, sort it out and stop making us feel like we are the blacklisted people in the world. If it's affecting mm. their business, world. man, you can't advise people to keep putting their business It's at just risk. that they can't be bothered if uh, there's a lot of people disturbing them. I'm very sure that every country that they are and I'm sure it's only, established it's not just Nigeria in, it's not that as bad. Like I said, Nigeria doesn't even have the highest, so it's impossible that we are the most most difficult person that you have to deal with. So and they're dealing with difficulties. They can't be the only blacklisted They just can't be bothered. Maybe it's because the Naira isn't Nigeria, even, even that much for them. Like maybe if you compare the struggle and then the profits, maybe, I don't know. Of course, my dad is married to just my mom, but um, I agree <laughs> <laughs> to. I, I don't know sense. why that was funny, but I would keep it to myself, okay. Yeah. And um, you keep it to yourself? Mm. Okay. And secondly, I kind of agree with the hunting spirit that men have because, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just agree to hunting what you spirit. Say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I agree to the hunting spirit. But now, there are a lot of hunters that never catch a prey. That they just look at the prey and they're like, hmm. So why are you hunting? How will you see a prey and you let it slide? Why are you not hunting? Why, why are you hunting? hunting? What, why are you in the bush? Um, the spirit is there. You have the spirit in you. <laughs> but you are not catching the prey. Do you understand? Mm. There's a difference. Because I've seen a lot of married men that are seriously faithful to their mm. wives. Do you understand? Mm. But, and you're chilling with them and they see a girl and they're like, hmm, they must react. Mm. It's a reaction. But do they act on that thought? That's the difference between a man who cheats on mm. his wife and a man who sees, admires from a distance, but will not disrespect mm. For me, I think what he said, um, he said monogamy isn't natural for men, yeah? I think monogamy isn't natural for anybody. Same. That's how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. um, getting into a relationship and being faithful is a decision and a choice you have to make. And it takes a lot of discipline to keep to that and do that because you respect the person you're with and understand what your choice is, actually the wrong one can do to your partner. So um, this idea of it being that it's only men, that you, their body used to move or mm. they have options, mm. please, we have options as women. We but see you guys them. also see men and you're like, hmm, even of when course. you're in a relationship. You must swear it's safe, like, hi, Bowsy. <laughs> so like, we feel it, okay, um, I agree that you, I didn't like that he made it about males because i think both people but he's not very far off and he's not the person that created this idea it's been said even in edu in like educational studies and stuff that um not just humans but mammals in general have the tendencies especially the males it's been it's, it's seen in different types of species where the males are more susceptible to um chasing a lot of women in comparison to the woman um and that you even find like in some animal kingdoms where men will fight themselves to become the alpha so that they can sleep with a lot more women. So I'm not going to sit here and point fingers like he's a, his thoughts is out of the normal. Like it's something that has been preached a lot. But I think there's a massive difference between mammals and um, human beings. And one of the biggest things for me is self-control. So mm -hmm. whether man or woman and whether your, your tendencies are higher than the other person, I still think that you have the... Unseen spirit. Oh. Whether your hunting spirit is on 10 degrees or <laughs> on 5, um, you still have the um, control. You have to, the capacity, the capacity to, control to control yourself. I would say, though, that there are some people that I've seen in my life that their tendencies are just a lot more higher than normal. And that's just how they are naturally. And they have means of, um, what's it called, expressing that 
still being in a healthy position, but, like, but like open know, relationships and things like that. So I, I, I don't think there's anything that he has said, except for obviously generalizing. But I'm pretty sure that no, people knew he's that he was not, he's not generalizing. He's been saying it is not new. And from the day I started having sense in my life, I've always said I do not agree with saying a man is naturally a polygamous person or cannot. Yes. Everybody, because I mean, I, I think maybe I'll just talk about um, the environment I grew up in. And it, it is clear, if we want to be sincere with ourselves, that women are even a lot more um, open to exploring their sexuality. But because of how this um, society has actually caged them, that's why when you now hear the stories of when a woman did this and did this, ah, women did mm. this. I'll tell you, it's been happening for a very long time. It's yeah. not just now. But they, they have mastered the art of covering those things they do and you don't even realize it is happening it's like that, until it's but, in your face. It's like that narrative that they always say that women, um, what's it called, that women can't cheat more. Cheat more. Like it's hmm. such, I feel like girls just allow that to um, happen because it protects us more. But it is so easy to have meaningless sex just as much as a man and no shaking. Just saying. But I think this is quite debatable because there are lots of men that would not even think about cheating. They don't even, it doesn't cross their mind. So...